I'm John, and this is Fun with Phil Mora. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. Today I'm going to show you a stop motion video effect. So what is a stop motion effect? It's basically a technique where the camera is constantly stopped and started again to give the subject the impression of being animated. We can do this in Filmora quite easily with any video clip. Let's dive in, I'll show you how to do it. First thing we need is a piece of stock media. I'll use this one because it has people walking on it. It gives a better effect. Now all we need to do, or what we need to do first of all, is click on the clip and we need to export this. I'm going to call it stop motion. I'll pick a folder, images there, that'll do. What we need to export it as is JPEG image sequence. Not a video, not an MP4. If you scroll right the way down, you'll see JPEG image sequence. And then export that. Give that some time to export, and depending on the size of your clip, depends on how long it takes to export. This is a 35 second clip. So I'll come back and let you know how long it took to export. So that was a 35 second clip and it took about one minute to export. So bear that in mind when you're exporting your images. Like I said, a bigger clip will take a lot longer. Might be worthwhile chopping it up first. Okay, what we need to do now is delete that video there. We need to go to the folder that we've saved our images in. So bear with me a second, I'll find that. Okay, so there's our folder with all our exported images in. And if I scroll right down to the very bottom, you'll see it's done 1,010 images. <laughs> right, we don't need all them, obviously. What I do want is I want to make sure that I just want about every 20th image. So you see it puts them in number order. So, and you can see at the moment, the last one on this column is 16. So what you can do is change the view on this to make the images bigger or smaller or medium size. I'm going to keep it at medium size and then I'm actually going to click and drag and move in because what will happen then is you can see as I move in I've now got number 20 image on the end here. Let me show you that again. As I drag out you see it puts more images across the row. I want to go down and drag it down to where you can just see image 20. Now all I want is every image out of this first column. So the way to do that is left click and hold your mouse and drag right the way down. Keep dragging right the way down. Keep holding your mouse, it'll take a while. Will be worth it, believe me. Now what we want with all those images is we want to drag them into Filmora. So let's go to our media tab and we just click and hold in the column that we've highlighted and drag them into Filmora. Might take a minute or two, there's quite a few images coming in. Okay, now that they're all highlighted as well because you just drag them in, don't click on any of them just yet. Make sure they are all highlighted and if they are unhighlighted what you can do is do Control A on your keyboard and that highlights them all. Drag them into the timeline. Just give that a second. Like I said, there's quite a few of them there. Don't worry about seeing them all on the timeline. What we want to do is just change the duration of them. So again, make sure they're all still highlighted. Again, if they're not, Control A. Then click on Duration. Now you see it's got hours, minutes, seconds and frames. We want the frames on this to be 10. So the last column needs to say 10. Click on save, give it a second, and you'll notice there's a lot of gaps in between all the images. Easy way to get rid of that, right click anywhere inside and do close gap. This week's pin number for the monthly giveaway is number six. Now, when we play that footage, we've got our stop motion effect. 
How easy is that? And it's really effective. So we're actually using one of the newer features in Filmora, which is exporting the images from a video. So it's a great feature. It's a great effect. Hope you can make use of it. As always, thanks for watching. Now go have some fun. Did you hear me mention this week's pin number? You'll need that to enter the £50 giveaway at the end of the month. <laughs>